Hi, so I want to talk a little bit about making your website ready to be shared on social media and not just the fact that it has words and it's beautiful. And I'm talking about the feature description, the meta description, excerpt, whatever you call it, um, and the featured image. This applies to posts and pages. As a social media manager, I see a lot of times where the social media doesn't pick up any image because there's no default image set. So we can fix that very easily with Yoast SEO. So let's do that, all right? Let me show my screen. Mm -hmm. Great. So when you're in your WordPress dashboard and you go down to SEO, go to social, right here, social, and then go from accounts to Facebook. Right here, this image URL being a default image shows what, how it's posted on Facebook, which applies to every other social network because Facebook controls the open graph and that's where people pick up social uh, data. That includes Google, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest. Social networks all defer to Facebook's open graph. So you really want to go find this image. Now I knew that it was from my uh, media library and then I pasted the, the actual link right there, uh, which is this. But um, I want to show you after you do that, then you click your save changes. Okay. So when you go to start a page, now a lot of times we make a page and, uh, we're using Beaver Builder or something like that. Right. And so we forget about this part. So this is a test page and I want to show you what this looks like. So test page now right here is a place for a featured image where I can pick anything from my upload in my library or pick it myself. And then that also includes um, the Yoast uh, readability and keyword. So my keyword is gonna be um, a test page, right? Focus key phrase, test page. And then I'm gonna edit my snippet and say, this, this is a test page to show how to make your website ready for social. Now, I don't care that much how this looks on the internet at this point, but I'm going to, um, oops, I do not want this going out. Um, so I don't have a featured image. Oh, I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So when you, when you share it on social media, there's a couple things you can tap, you can look at. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It's super blank, super boring. It just has this default thing. My sidebar is this is a test page. So say I had some good information over there and I want to go share it on Facebook. If I go share it on Facebook, um, check this out. Then it's going to take a preview. It's going to go look at all that information and see it's using my default image right so that's great if you don't have a actual image that works for that then you have that so there's a couple things you can do so if I took that out of my settings in Yoast SEO then I would be you know in trouble it show nothing and that's even worse right so and it says in the meta description, this is a test page to show you how to make your website ready for social. If I share that also on Twitter, um, check this out and I paste it. So I look at my tweet and it says this is a test page to show you how to make your website ready for social. So there's a couple things you can do to, sh to check this out. One of the things is a sharing debugger which is uh, anybody can have access to developers.facebook.com tools debug sharing but you can just look up 
sharing debugger. And when you click that debug, it will show you exactly what the meta description is, what Open Graph is looking at, right? So here's my actual OG image, and you can see that I'm hosted at Pressable, and they're using a CDN, Pressable CDN, but there's my, that's what I chose. And then this is my meta description. This is a test page. Now that should be about 155 characters, should have a call to action. But this is kind of boring, right? I mean, it's a great, don't get me wrong, Rhonda Nygaard designed this, it's beautiful, but it doesn't say anything about the test page, right? So what you can do is you can go to canva.com and you can create a design. So with canva.com, it, you can use the free and you create your design. What you want to do is use custom dimensions, 1200 by 628. Okay, and then you have a blank template. Or you can use one of their templates, right? So um, I'll just use this because it's kind of cute. They think I'm making a slide, but that's fine. Whatever, you know, whatever works. So now I'm saying, um, whoops, come on, test page, and I'm going to put RichardWillard.com, and is your site unique? And then these aren't my branding colors, so I have my branding colors in here. This is a premium, this is a premium feature, uh, being able to have your branding colors that are completely stored but that's I mean seriously not that much money in the scheme of things right so test page I'm going to download that it's 1200 by 628 just like I wanted do, 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 do. Move my face around <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna go back to that page right all pages. Look for my test page. Now I'm going to edit it. I'm going to go to set featured image. I'm going to drag that up. Test page featured image. This is a feature image on my test page. Okay. Now I'm going to update it. I'm going to look at my page. All right. So now I have the featured image, but it's already been shared on social. So now what do I do? Because, you know, this is already here like this. Here's the trick. Are you ready? So click, I'll show you again. Go to your timeline of where you shared it. Click on the time where it says four minutes or whatever. Now go to the three dots and say refresh share attachment. Oh, look, it's gonna do the same thing. See, you gotta rescrape it. So you go back to the sharing debugger. This is why this is the best tool ever. And this rescrapes either the meta description and or the featured image. So now I have the featured image. The, I didn't change the test description. I didn't change the meta description at all. Just the featured image, right? So now I go to refresh share attachment and I save it. So now that's completely fine. So what if I was sharing this on my Facebook page and I wanted to boost it? And what is that image good enough? Because honestly, we forget a lot of times that Facebook wants us to boost, but not more than 20% of the area of the image, 600, 1200 by 628, can contain text. So don't rely upon only your image for branding or to for a prompt, right? Okay, so let's go back. Okay, there's, here's another tool. It's called the Image Text Check or the Add Overlay Tool for Facebook. So you can upload the image. 
that we just downloaded for test page and it will tell us whether it's okay, low, medium, or high. So mine is okay. So even though this has test page and it looks like a lot and there's some little writing, it's not worse than that, right? So I could actually boost this post if I posted it on my Facebook page instead of my profile. Now this is why you should always post from your page first. If you ever feel like you want to go and share it to your profile, you can. But this way, you're, you're ensuring that you're getting the, the most out of it, right? So once you post that, then you can share, then you can do it. But that's not what this video is about. So I wanted to show you that and there's one other tool. So now what happens to this? What happens to Twitter? Because I already tweeted it out. Now, now what happens? It's, Twitter keeps showing this, right? So you go to what they call the Twitter card validator. See there's, I'll, I'll put the link in the web post that I'm going to make um, about this. And you enter in that URL of your this, the rescraping is the best thing ever. Now this doesn't always work super fast on Twitter, but there it is. It shows you exactly if the page fe fetched successfully, they found the meta tags, they found a Twitter card. This all is possible because of setting up Yoast SEO correctly on your site and making sure that even if you use a page builder, to build the content around that, that the, the internal featured image and meta description are correct. Because now, if I want to, I can go back to Beaver Builder and do some fun things. That's all I wanted to talk about today. So thanks for listening. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And I would love to help you with your content. Bye.